everybody, it's Denise from Fruity Paradise Island, back from Florida and hopefully back on track. Okay, I've been postponing to make the videos because I wanted to have like a decent eating day to make my videos and I've just been getting worse and worse and it's pulling me down, bringing me down on everything in life except on the scale of course. But uh, I figured today I'll make the video, even though it's, I won't be saying everything I wanted to say and all that, but it's important. I have always told you that without the videos, uh, I don't do well at all on my raw vegan diet. So you are my inspiration. And here I am telling you what I have today. So first of all, I had two of these cups of cereal drinks okay uh, it's a hot cereal drink and I do put a little bit of maple syrup and a little bit of almond milk but for me it's a good step transition back because from the January 5th that I went to Florida every day I had coffee and sometimes two to three coffees a day I just fell in it and I don't think I'll have trouble getting off of it though with this and herbal tea it will be fine but just to tell you that I have had coffee and now I decided to go for cereal drinks and after that will be herbal tea and I also have this jug of lemon water that I'll be drinking during the morning and after that of course going back to my green smoothies I did have some on vacation but at the house it's really like more in the routine so I have my frozen stuff here because there isn't that much food in the house but I have freezers with lots of food in them so I have three and a half frozen bananas and they did turn very bad because the freezer got unplugged and everything defrosted just a little bit so all my frozen bananas look kind of icky and I'm wondering what they'll taste like and here I have frozen greens okay it is baby kale blend so I remember I just stuck it in the freezer before I left because I had already got them on clearance and I didn't want them to go bad so I'll just put this in the blender fill it with water and have a delicious nutritious green smoothies okay so there's so much I would like to say to you I'm disorganized I didn't make any videos so actually I made a couple at the beginning in Florida but realized that I didn't have the way of uh, uploading them so I said I won't make you know 40 videos and anyway so I had a great vacation uh, the first two weeks was almost all raw my mom was eating super well I walked an hour of speed walking every morning with a wonderful woman that I met over there Olga if you're watching hi I miss you to walk with and to speak with also so we used to walk and then I did my exercise routine so exercise level I did great during my haul vacation actually much better than here and I think that's what permitted me to stay at my weight even go down a little bit because I moved a lot but after a couple weeks then uh, my mom started making fried food we were making much me as much as her and for the children more and more pasta got into pasta my mom makes bread for everybody in the building so there was always fresh bread around around then of course the wine okay started drinking wine once in a while my friend came over we had wine and beer so it was a bit of a roller coaster but still all along I ate very well during our walks in the morning we would pick avocados star fruit wild plums what else papayas once in a while when they were over someone's fence but tons of avocados okay like I mean sometimes I had a bag with 20 in them and not avocados like we buy here delicious creamy fresh avocados so that brought me into eating more fats even of the good fats and as I heard a few people say on their videos, the more fats you eat, it's harder to stay on track. So maybe that's what brought me into all the junk. Even the last few days, it's been, my gosh, chips, birthday cake, really, uh, it's time that I get back on track because I need it. As much for my spirit, as for my body, as for how I want to live in life. So I'm going to have all this breakfast and I'll see you later. Bye. This is mm, really refreshing and hydrating. 
I love it. So now it's the middle of the winter, mid-February, and I am so happy and grateful that I decided to freeze lots of fresh food last fall. So here are tomatoes from the garden. Then I have some leek. I have a bit of jalapeno, and I have some lemon basil down here. Mmm, all from the freezer. And I'm gonna make myself a delicious dressing to put on a salad today at lunch. And I'll also have on my salad, da da da, smoked paprika. Okay, I got many different kinds. I cannot find any smoked paprika here in Quebec. And Lisa from Lisa's Raw Food Romance makes it look so, so good. So I'm really excited. I had some in Florida and I loved it. Oh, look what my two little girls made for my 17-year-old daughter's birthday today. They simply glued all pictures of her on a cube when she was a baby with her daddy, graduation, playing piano, her and me acting foolish, and her with her siblings. So I think this is a really cute original gift. See you later. Got to show you one another frozen treat I have in my freezer. It's apples that I chopped up last fall and I will use these to make myself some delicious raw vegan crackers. So I do have a video on it. Carrot, parsnip and apple and chia seed crackers. I will replace the parsnip by turnip or something. Okay, so I'm gonna make these and it's gonna help me a lot because lately I've been having any cracker that I see or bread or whatever. So having these is gonna keep me straight on that line where I wanna go. So I'm running late for lunch, but I did have time to make that dressing to whip it up. It's fantastic. And I'll have a banana while I'm waiting. Mm. So here's a very late lunch. It's 3.15, actually 3.20. So it's simply lettuce, shredded cabbage, a bit of green onions, cucumber, and paprika over that delicious dressing that you saw the ingredients in before. So, mm. Salad, salad, salad. Hey everybody, new ice cream, okay? I normally always make it with bananas, but this is simply the apples because I decided I wouldn't have time. Well, not I decided. Unfortunately, I won't have time to make the crackers. So I just blended up the apples that were half frozen, half defrosted, and I will dehydrate them. So I'll make good uh, apple, fruit apple leather. But this is unbelievable. Mmm. See, I never thought of making that just apple ice cream. I always put the bananas, but this is mmm number one. So I decided it was too good like this. I will not dehydrate it. Mmm. I will serve it as ice cream tonight on my daughter's birthday. Okay, cake. so to finish the day, I had another little green salad, simple lettuce, cucumber, onions with a bit of lime juice and my apple ice cream 100% apples mm. and tonight I'll go have a good herbal tea with my husband and I want to thank you all and welcome you back to my channel I hope that you'll enjoy it I hope that I will be successful you will be successful and we will all be happy and leave, give me thumbs up if you like this video and leave me comments and share so goodbye everybody see you tomorrow for sure so here's a late night snack a banana an apple and a few raw pumpkin seeds good night